Hey guys, so I'm Tim. I'm Anna. And this is Geeked Up Game Review Group. We're going to bring you guys a preview of... Bioshock Infinite from Plaid Hat Games. And 2K Games from the console gaming company, which mm -hmm. is printed on here at 2K Games. Uh, we will also give some to Irrational Games. Uh, they're also on the front cover of the box. If you guys are uh, familiar with the Infinite Bioshock on... PlayStation and Xbox 360. I do not know if that converted over to one. I don't remember what year this came out. Um, but this is the tabletop version where you will play with tiles and punch outs. So do not get that confused and think that we just went to button mashing. We did not. We are still tabletop. But what I found in me was a button masher. Yes. So now let's go over to the box for the Bioshock Infinite by 2K Games and Plaid Hat Games and Irrational, Irrational Games. Irrational and show you guys the contents inside the box. Alright guys, I'm really excited to bring you guys this um, contents inside this box, showing you guys everything inside of here. I'm a big Bioshock fan, uh, and I have not played Infinite on any console, so this will be the first time I'm looking at Infinite, and for my fandom of Infinite, uh, I'm glad to play it on tabletop instead of on console. Um, they do say that you don't play as Big Daddy or Little Sister, which, if you guys know the real names, please comment below. I don't remember what their names are, but Big Daddy and Little Sister. Um, but it is still on the Bioshock storyline as far as I know. So, uh, this is a game with Plaid Hat Games. A game by Ag Isaiah Vega. The Siege of Columbia box. 2K game. Irrational games. Now, 2K Games, is that who actually makes the video game? 2K Games does the console version. So let's go ahead and take this box lid cap lid off. And this is a... a <clears throat> this was a demo copy at Gen Con right. uh, that they uh, supplied to us for a review Looks copy. Looks like they didn't unpunch all of them yet. Yeah, so it's, let's say, halfway new. <laughs> <laughs> So that looks like Little Sister. It says Elizabeth Timeline number three. So Elizabeth, is that her name? Elizabeth. Yeah, I think so. Number one. I think she's grown up in this though. Because she's like a little girl, little girl, and now she's like a teenager. So she has grown a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at this. And you can see the And these are like player like reference pipelines sheets. Pipelines that we have to travel through. Are there only two player reference sheets? Uh, that's all I see. Oh, is this only a two-player game? I don't know. I did not look. So here's the player board, which if I turn it straight for you. Uh, it's, you know, kind of a decent size. It is a smooth texture, which I don't, I don't know if I'll like that or not. I don't know <clears> if I've seen boards that are this smooth before. I, I haven't. That's why I don't know if I'll be a fan of it. Is it's new to me. I don't like change. But anyways. <laughs> no, I love change. This is actually pretty sturdy. Um, so, we will see. But that's the board. And it is only single-sided. Looks like right here we have some blue character miniatures. Um, they're kind of cool. Oh, look at this one. Oh, we get minis? Yeah. Oh my. I didn't see these when I was packing it up. You didn't see it? Mm -hmm. Here's some more. These are like mini minis. And here's some more. Oh, look at this blimp. Yeah, I'll just... yeah that's uh, highlighted in the game for some reason. Little minis. Looks like here we've got some tokens and such. They're all the different colored dye. And these are actually custom dye. They're engraved blue and light blue. Quite a lot of dice, actually. I like these. The, the cards are to look like newspaper. I'm actually going to go ahead and put these little pieces in this bag. Just so... That's kind of cool. 
You see the newspaper? Oh yeah. The newspaper pages. So is this set in the future or is this set in the past? No, or? this is the future. All the Bioshock is set in the future. Well, it's it's kind of both ways because well, when you look like, at like the terrain, it's set the back end. in the old times, but if you look at what the gear is, it's like futuristic equipment. That's why I feel like sometimes when I play it I feel a little steampunk. Because it's it's not, but it is. It's you're in this like wetsuit, but then you have this huge tank head on you, and then you have a drill that you can like pound people like a, with a fist. You know? It's quite complicated. What? This uh, time. Can I have some of those? Yeah, actually, you can have them all in just a second. I was just organizing them. Oh, well, I've got some over here with the star shields on them. And then here's this. This is four player <coughs> turn order. Four player turn order, okay. <coughs> so it's got a bunch of cards, a bunch of pieces, quite a few minis. But you know, games with a lot of components are the best games. Are they? As long as there's a functioning robot. I win! There might be a cast vote mechanic in this. Because I noticed on some of the cards that I'm looking at, there's the big giant coin, the Columbia coin, 1900. So, I can't really remember if it's set in the future or in the past. Here's your characters. Bad guys. Here's some more of these. And the rest of these. We have another proof of purchase here. No. What game was that that had that? I don't know. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, what was it Descent? Maybe. I'm going to look this up real quick and see if it says how many players. These are players. equipment cards. It so. says two or four players. So it's either two or four? Yeah. So it's not two to four, but two or four. There's the airship. Like, if you look at the game, it kind of reminds me of like a steampunk or clockwork type. Did you have any other minis out there? game? That? No. But we'll have more details on what these cards are. Since there's so many, I don't know what the difference is between the reds and the blues. Or the light blue and the dark blue. Yeah, the light blue, dark blue, and there's actually light red and dark red. So, this is it for the unboxing or the sneak peek of Bioshock Infinite, the tabletop game. We will go ahead and cut it off from here and get you guys more details on what all the cards do. Uh, in the near future when we do our full review on the game and what the tokens and how the minis work and uh, how we're going to use the dice to roll and everything. So I'm Sam with the Geeked Up Game Review Group and this is Anna. Hello. And we are going to head and tune out. And we'll see you guys in the next one.